Hello everybody, good day to you all today. I am talking about Zombies 3, the movie. Who's directed by Paul Hewen. At the starring in are you got um Meg Donnelly, um, Milo um, Malahan, and many others to the cast here. In the movie here, we, we got aliens now. First, the first movie, it was zombies. Zombies were already here because of an accident, but they were separate. They kept, they kept them over there in their world, and they stayed in their world. And they, and regular people had to stay in their bland world. But because of because of love, they managed to bring much the zombies and the human man to learn how to work together. And then the next movie after that, werewolves come into the picture. And they're like, oh, what is this? And then they realize, hey, they're not that bad. And they're now they got, now they got werewolves, zombies, and we're humans all living together in perfect harmony. Everybody's happy. Woohoo, woo woo And now aliens. And everybody's freaking out all over again. And the same process happens in every single movie. But here's... So, you already, you already know how it's going to go. People freak out. And they say, no, no, no. And they know we have to get understanding where they're coming from. And then, and then they know they move in. This, this, they, all these movies, people are like representing what, what's going on in the United, United States. People represent the United States in a way. Because you got, you got the... Because the, the regular people are pretty much, well, whites. It's, it's, white, it's white America. It's what it is. And the zombies are black people. That's what they were. They were. That's why we were at first. Whites over here, blacks on that side, and then people had the blacks over living in, in the ghettos in the bad neighborhoods. It's like this, like, like the zombies. And also given less opportunities, also given less less rights and less freedoms like that too. And then eventually they, they incorporated them into into this world. The the, the werewolves are, are the Native Americans. That's what they were and how we pretty much this this was their land first. We came over. They right, right they, came, they came over here. Took the land from them. Pushed them to the side, had them living out in the woods, pretty much reservations, and then and then they and then they they, they to come back because they because they, they took something sicker off their lands, and then they're using it for their own purposes. I just, I just, ugh, oh. and but eventually they ended up coming together. And the, and the aliens was in this movie right here representing like um, foreigners who, and refugee, refugees, people who are who had war torn country who are trying to come here to, for a better better place. And, and, and in, this, in this movie right here, they um their planet was just um, was, was, was would die and it was destroyed. Because things, the things they were doing to the planet, like all the harm they were doing to the planet, and because they they want to be so peaceful and kumbaya, nobody spoke up, nobody fought to try to save the planet. Everybody just trying to make everybody happy, and so instead of this, instead of um um addressing the situation that was going on there, they ignored it, and then the things got worse, and now the planet and now the planet is not, not can't live on it no more, and it and it, it was destroyed. So now they now, so now they're trying to find a place so they could call home. Yeah, so that's just, so now they're on Earth trying to find a certain signature to help them find a new planet where they can live. And this whole movie also wraps up, also connects to Addison and her story and, and where she comes from because and because Addison always felt not normal, even though I mean yeah she's a she's a very beautiful girl and her having white hair would it really affect anything in, in real life. But in this world right here, because they wanted everything, because how everything they wanted to be so plain and so straight. I mean, all the ice cream they had was like vanilla. That was the far as they went to. This whole this whole place was vanilla. So her, her having white hair was like this. Oh, oh. so. But the messed up part is she finally. And the good thing is she finally she finally finds out a place where she belongs. She finds out who she actually is and where she actually come from and why her hair is the way it is right now. The messed up part is though, all these movies. Was well, the first movie you have her mom knowing what her daughter is going through, allowing her to Pima suffer alone, and also being the cause of her suffering, all because she wouldn't let her know that she has, that she has white hair herself. Because I, I wonder what would happen if she knew from the start where she, where she came from and, her, and her, who her grandmother was and her mom and her mom that she just like her. Because would she have would she have gone with Zed in the first place? Or would she be even more open to him? Because she already, because things, so she already knew where she comes from and knew her place in the world. Because all, all, all throughout this whole entire movies, she connected with Zed because Zed was different, and she, so she, he, he felt like he didn't fit in and in this, in this, in the regular world, and she didn't fit in with her regular world either. So that kind of caused them to, to, to connect and bond and actually fall in love with one another. And seeing her journey, how it ends up in here, that's very nice, very sweet, very touching. Now these movies are very, very cheesy. So I'm gonna start with the bad stuff right now. These movies are very, very cheesy. And the other story is that this is like, doesn't make sense a lot of times all the way through. I ain't pointing out the whole thing what, 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 what our relationship um, that Addison had with her mother, letting her feel like she's alone all this time, but she could have helped her daughter out this whole entire time. It makes her seem like she's a bad parent, really. I, 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 really, really awful. And also, how did her her father not know 
about her about his wife, which is which also kind of weird. So, so um, that's kind of, that's kind of the bad part a little bit. I mean, the movies are very very cheesy, and the, the, the movies are also very very predictable. You you kind of knew where it was going because the movie followed the same patterns from the first movie and the second movie, so it all kind of comes together. Really, it's, it's, just, it's just, all these movies are the same thing over and over again, done, done again. And only the difference is you just you get you, you get newer songs to represent what's going on here. So you you kind of see where this is going to go. There was a twist in here. I didn't I didn't quite see something coming like this. When you you find it out where the energy stores come from, first I, I thought I thought I knew, well, I didn't know what it was at first, but then I started guessing to myself, and, and they said it was something else. I said, oh, maybe I was wrong this time. Oh, then I, then I found out I actually right the whole time. So it's just wow. So so you know, the movie don't really there's nothing there's nothing here that you, you're not going to see coming really because the, the kids the movie are mostly geared towards children. I, I get that, but. So it's like I said, even though like I said, it's predictable and, you, and, you, and it's, it's very cheesy and the acting is not really all that great at times, it still has a good message in here as, as well too. Let's move on to the positive. The, the singing in here, I, I enjoy the music a, a whole lot. The dancing, the choreography is always done quite well. And the message that each movie has, I really do enjoy it a whole lot. I, I really do enjoy it a whole lot. And I have a whole lot of fun watching these movies. And I really do enjoy these characters watching them the grow and how they, how they change and evolve and get better and better and better each time. And some of that as well, too. Like I said, it, it, it represents, like the, in a way, a lot of times, a way of the United States and how we um, and how we judge people how they're different than us, how they're from religion or sexual orientation, or whatever it may be to make people feel like they, they are the other. Instead of us trying to get to know them and see things from their point of view, help us come together, like these, like these, like these movies do. We kind of separate and keep each other apart. This is kind of messed up. This is pretty messed up. But these movies right here, everything always kind of wraps together pretty good. And everything, everybody always comes together, and everything always ends up happy and fantastic for, for everybody. So these are fun movies. I want to say this is the best thing I've seen in my life. But they are fun movies, and I really do enjoy them a whole lot. I always have fun when I when I watch them, and I look forward to seeing seeing them. And it looks like even at the end of the picture, I'm not. I don't think there's gonna be any more to this. But it, 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 it introduced vampires in, into the world. You see that all, all, in the credits. Also, you got to see mermaids and maybe other fantastical creatures as well too. So, so it, it's so interesting seeing how this how this place. I, I, I call it Plainville, Normalville, whatever it's called. Um, how it started off and seeing how, how things get incorporated, and how things started to change and more colors are into the in, introduced to this world and. And how 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 it evolves, how it ends up to being like this whole utopia for for everybody, and everybody's getting along together. And so it's, well, it's, it's very nice, very sweet, very, very touching. So I, rec I recommend. I do. I, I, do I recommend, recommend this movie? I do. I think it's a whole lot of fun. I think it's a whole lot of fun. Like I said, it is cheesy and it is a little silly, and the acting may not be all that great all the time. But it's still, it's still like I said, it's fun. It's so much fun to watch. It's so much fun. And the message is so good. I think everybody can learn something from it. And I'm, I'm not saying it's going to change the world or anything like that. It's not going to do that. But it, it, I think the kids who will watch it will, will, will be entertained. And I, and I think adults can watch this too. And they can study for as well too. So I said, I give the movie a grade. I'm giving it um, a C. I'm giving it a solid C. But what makes this good is the, is the music, is the well too, and, and the dancing, and the, and the message they have along with it. it makes it makes it makes it pretty, makes it a pretty good movie. So, don't take it, don't take, don't take my word, take my word for it. Go check it out for yourself. Hopefully, when you watch it, you will enjoy, have fun watching it too. And give my channel a like, hit the thumbs up, hit the and subscribe to my channel and share. I really do appreciate it. Also, links down below to show on social media. You want to follow me there, and also to my to my store where I, where I sell merchandise. You can buy some stuff. I really do appreciate it if you do. Thank you. So like I always say, in my dreams of a life, I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out, uh, peoples.